Hey guys, in many applications within IoT, power consumption is absolutely crucial. Also, since we're talking about IoT, the device should be online and accessible. But these are two contradicting requirements, since having a radio activated on your device consumes a lot of power. Keeping the device offline simply saves a huge amount of energy. So how do you interact and control a device that is offline? Come on, let me show you how we do it at Toit. So I got a Toit device here running two applications that pull some temperature, humidity and pressure data from a sensor every 5 seconds and also prints a timestamp. If we head over to the configuration tab, there is a configuration called Max Offline that at the moment is set to 0 seconds, which means that my device will stay online all times. If we change this to say 2 minutes, my device will immediately go offline to preserve power and come back online again in 2 minutes to check for updates or new applications to install. If we move back to the log, we can see that the sensor data has stopped streaming into the device. Note, however, that the applications are still running on the ESP32, collecting data from the sensor and storing it in the onboard flash memory. As soon as the device goes online in about one and a half minutes, it will offload the data to the console. So let us fast forward and see what happens when the device goes online again. It's been roughly two minutes since I changed the max offline setting and the device is about to go online in a few seconds. As soon as the device comes online, we can see that it's offloading the data it has been collecting while it was offline and then it goes offline again. Finally, just to show you that you actually can indirectly interact with the toy device while it's offline, let's update our app and deploy it. So in the toy code we make a simple change. Let's switch from hectopascals to pascals in the pressure reading and then we redeploy the app. We get a message that the app has been successfully deployed and when a device goes online the next time, this updated app will be installed and executed. So if we go to the apps tab, we can see that we now have one app that is about to be uninstalled as the old one and a new app that will replace the old one. This will happen when the device goes online again. So let's fast forward a little bit. And eventually we can see how the new app is being installed. And if we go to the logs tab, we can see the effect of the code change. 